Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Ooh, what up, what up, what up? Jeremy B, what's going on? What's going on, baby? What's going on, y'all? All right, I think we're gonna get going here. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another live stream. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing a Lincoln MKS 2016. Uh, this one, I did a removal on, uh, a, a video just for the removal, and then I found out that I, uh, I didn't have the proper music playing, and I didn't have copyrights to those music, so I had to delete that video. So if you guys saw that video, sorry, it's gone. So, happy Halloween weekend. I hope everyone's going to be safe. Hope everyone's doing fun things. Fun, fun things. Um, if you guys are new here, again, my name is Patrick. I'm a full-time tinter, instructor, and consultant. Um, I do YouTube videos, Facebook videos. Try to help people out here. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, shoutouts, criticisms, feel free to write them in the comments below, either on Facebook or on YouTube, and I can answer them live for you, whether it's questions about the car, whether about the business, um, whatever you guys want. I'm here for you, baby. I'm here for you. Uh, this next live stream, we're going to be, once I get it going, it's going to be about an hour and 40 till I finish this car, which is, I'd say, a pretty good time frame, especially... Um, this is all hand cut and, and whatnot and in a very tiny garage. So yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and get going here. One second here. I think, yeah, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and get started with some, what do we want? What do we want? Uh, yeah, uh, so quick sponsorship timeout and then we're going to go ahead and get going. This live stream is sponsored in part by TintWiz. TintWiz is a CRM suite designed for window tinters. From acquisition to invoicing and everywhere in between, you can run your business more efficiently and more profitably with TintWiz. Check it out at TintWiz.com. You can also download it for iOS and Android. Don't forget your free 30-day trial at sign up. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. All right, let's go ahead and get going here. Screen share here. Again, I'm going to be down here in the bottom right hand corner or if I move it. So uh, before we get that's I think that's it. Let's get going. Oh, I did it again. Hold on. My audio is not routed correctly. CSTM. Try now. Guys, welcome back to another live stream. Uh, today we have a 2016 Lincoln. What do we have? Lincoln MKS. Uh, I did a removal on this yesterday, and I did a video on the removal yesterday, but um, but it was a really weird removal. Like, it had this entire side that needs to be removed, a quarter window and a front window, and there's nothing on the back window. It kind of threw me off. So I did do a video, but then, like, I didn't like it. So, T-Town Tense, what's going on, baby? Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to the live stream. Right. That's okay. I had yeah, a, I, I had an in, in car this is, because this is like a Ford, right? Lincoln's basically a Ford. And I couldn't think of it, and it's not a fusion, unless an older version of a fusion. But I think, 
I think I remember. I think it's it's a Taurus. I think it's basically a Taurus. All right, had an, uh, an install it scheduled, and then morning, they so they didn't to... show up, so uh, we're gonna do a live stream. Get some of the water off. Dry her off a little bit. <sighs> But uh, this installation should be a pretty straightforward installation. Should be nothing crazy. The deck isn't pushing up on there the back go. glass. It's got a nice big border on the back. Roll down windows. Um, I did pull the sweep, so we're gonna bottom load it as well. She's just a little dirty. She's a dirty girl. You need to get a wet squeegee. You know, I had one of those one passes and uh, Jason, what's going on, baby? <laughs> Welcome to the live stream, my friend. Morning love, baby. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, I had one of those one passes and I kind of like them, but then I don't like them. If, like if detailers see them, they like cringe, right? So I just wipe it down with a microfiber towel. Am I playing music? I'm definitely playing music. Why am I playing music in the garage? Let's pray that it's copyrighted music that I have rights to. <laughs> oh no, I don't think it is. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to keep the video running and if, if I get popped, screw it. I guess this video is going to get deleted too. <laughs> Fucking jamming. I need some love, some Jason, some Jason love. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on. Oh, oh, I definitely. Ten Pro, what's going on, baby? How you doing? Welcome. Oh, that is definitely a mainstream song. This fucking video is gonna get deleted right after this. So, hope y'all enjoy it. <laughs> what am I doing? This is my first time. Hold on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Bam! Little little tire change. Ah, oh, what y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? Fresh to death. Check it out. I wonder if I can get copyright strict for like for live streams. I think I'm gonna have to delete this. That's a mainstream song, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, I, that, that sounds familiar for sure. Oh, what's up, Martin? How you doing, man? How you doing? Five dollars super chat. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Oh, you uh, know this what? is not FX Plus this time around. Let me lower this music down. Uh, it is not FX Plus this time around. It's actually going to be my standard ceramic. Okay, just so guys let you guys know what was going on this day. I don't. I was on some other shit. All right, clearly, right? Um, so on this day. I was live streaming me actually doing the video, uh, the car while I was shooting for this live stream. So like a live stream inception. Um, but so if you see me answering questions, people aren't asking, I'm, I'm answering them live from there. And it only, it only worked for like a little bit until my camera died. So now you're all caught up. My IRFX, we're going to put 5% all the way around it. Actually, for those of you guys that are watching, live here from the studio i'm also recording it and streaming live to youtube as well over there but this is more just like why do i even fucking talk raw, sometimes i swear to god whatever video seeing if i like it we got the tinta brand t-shirt on compliments michael thank Jason you very much sir, very, very much is this live this is live clear view window tent this is live this is more of like a raw uncut like this is me what i look like when i'm shooting video 
This isn't live. That's live. I'm talking to two audiences. You should record now, you doing this live, reacting to the this video of you recording this Middle live. Series, I think that's baby. Me. <laughs> the backbone of America. Middle series. If you guys are curious, this shirt is sick. This is the Tinter Brands shirt uh, for uh, Jason. Tint 3 Look at all the like the logos and stuff on the 5%. back. Five percent. One of my favorite stuff. One of my favorite shirts. And all the all the. Ooh, look at all the. Damn, this. I feel like a fucking NASCAR with this goddamn shirt on. <laughs> I have to organize all this. I have to organize it. Also, in a future video coming up, my logo on there, T-Town Tints, um, is it? I'm gonna be showing you guys nice. how the uh, nice. the Tint Wiz inventory management system works. I've uh, been wanting to. It's an in-depth video, but it's more something that I want to make sure that I get right. So, and I pretty well, I I don't have one shot at it, but I don't want to do it over and over again. <gasps> oh, look at me, I'm an asshole. Yes, sir. Top so I left. cut the film before, and it looks like I scored the line. The film. Hell yeah! I scored the film while cutting through. Did I score twice? No, just once. A little waste never hurt nobody. So yeah, I'll be doing uh, a full re a full uh, video on the inventory management system uh, through TintWiz, which is amazing. No more pen and paper, no more trying to figure out exactly what you got going on. All right, guys, I shot the uh, the the link to that. at all. Oh, you know what? There's overspray and lots of it. I can feel it. The link to that video. Oh, Mike Sanchez. God damn, we got all the peoples in here. You motherfuckers aren't working at all today. It is holiday weekend. It is ho the ho uh, Halloween weekend. I'm going to go ahead and add the link to that video. The, uh, oh, the, my gosh. The full video. I got it. for <gasps> Martin, the live stream for the Porsche. You know what? I was actually... Um, I'm still working on the, on the uh, interview, but... And I'm about halfway done. This is why we're, I'm not going to be doing two-hour live interviews anymore because it takes too goddamn long to edit. Hour would still take me a few hours to edit. But the Porsche one, we loaded it up on the... Uh... There's overspray all over this. Well, we loaded it up on the external hard drive, Martin, and I tried to pull it off the, the footage off like just yesterday, and, and it, it's, it's not popping up. So I don't know what the hell I did. So that footage might be gone. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. All right, so this car is a 2016 and it's old. I don't know if it's had, it has, it has had body work done to it. I know that for a fact. It had, it had the, uh, the bumper, um, it had the bumper redone and I think it had some body work on the front, front, uh, front hood as well. Um, so there is overspray on it and if you guys don't know what overspray is it's just basically the the air residue from like body shops paint different things of that nature but what it does is it leaves particulates on the glass big fucking words baby um, and then the film doesn't want to lay have you ever seen it where like you try to lay it down and it just kind of floats so what I have here is a Triumph blade stuck sideways into a side swipe. Same thing as I do with my windshields, but what I'm doing now is I'm just keeping it flat and just scraping off all that junk. You can hear it, listen. No bueno. <laughs> no bueno. Um. Is this necessary? No, not 100% necessary. Um, but 
but the film is just not going to want to stick when you when you're trying to shrinking and laying it down so if you hit it with a blade first and you could you don't have to have a triumph blade you can use like a one inch razor blade it's just going to take you longer but listen when i scrape up listen can you hear that scraping down scraping that all off the glass Because especially spray. if you're shrinking and you're trying to shrink and especially if you're new when you shrink and the film just is doesn't want to lay down on the glass after you, after you shrink it and hard card it it's a pain in the butt so you hit it with that what happened to the podcast we're gonna post with Martin I'm still editing it I'm still editing it it takes forever to edit because not only do I have to shoot it but then I have to sit down and edit it because I have one interview going on with three different camera angles. So I have to relive the same interview and then switch the camera angles, you know, from when, when one person's talking to the other person's talking. And uh, it, ends up, uh, it ends up taking a long time. And I, I wanted to only do an hour long interview, but the first interview I did with Martin ended up being like two hours. So now I'm, Reliving that that two hour long interview. <laughs> it's so long. I will get it done. I will get it done. Actually, I just I never feel like you have so much going on and then like you push one thing to the side and another thing to the side, then you realize you've pushed a shit ton of stuff to the side. And then you gotta take like two days to fucking do nothing but catch up work. That's what I felt like. I'm all caught up now, but that's what I felt like. Um, good. If you still have it on your on your um, computer, save it because I need it. I needs it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing this anymore. I tried it out just because I wanted to like. Also, we got to play a fun game because this camera, 81% is off a of battery, and I have to hot swap the battery to not let the camera die because if I let the camera die, then the, that live stream dies and I have to restart the whole damn thing. I don't want to do that. So for those of you guys that, um, that might be doing live streams with GoPros and things of that nature, that GoPro had a media mod on it because I had a, my, a wireless mic connected to me so that like people on that camera could hear me. Uh, the second, I took the media mod off that thing. It killed the live stream. So if you're going to be doing live streams with GoPros, don't put a media mod on there or finish that shit before the battery dies. Oh yeah. That's good. Nice. And then now this will have a little bit more bite as I'm rolling out the film. If you guys have any questions, concerns about this shirt that I'm wearing from Tinter Brand, Jason Omeletsky here. I'm going to go ahead and put the link down here below, guys. Um, he's not a sponsor. He's not paying me to do this. Um, I did get this shirt for free, by the way, though. But uh, but no, just showing, some, just showing some love to my fellow Tinters out there doing, doing good things, doing big things. Check it out in the link. All kinds of custom shirts. Women's apparel, too. Not a lot of women's apparel out there, so... I didn't get Good you market. that drunk. <laughs> we all want to hear it, see it. I know, I know, I know. I'm not trying to hide it from anyone. It's just, it's got to be right, right? Because I want to make the production value worth it. And I found out because I record internal background music while the interview's going. Um, so just to make it easier for me in post so I don't have to sit and, and, uh, and, uh, import background music. Well, the background music was way too low. You can't even hear it. So it's a work in progress. Learning as we're going, as we're moving. All right. I definitely won't be shooting live streams while I'm shooting the video for a live stream. Better. And grip a lot better. It's a lot see. of me talking. We are putting 5% on this car, sides and back. That's not good, don't do that. <laughs> you didn't see me do that. I totally hit that Oops. car with my knife. <laughs> don't do that shit. I never do that.
sit back and relax. Enjoy the live stream. Pat, Pat, where you at? What's up? Cold front. David, how you doing? what's going on, man? Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Cold front and penguin. What's up, baby? Welcome to the live stream. Martin Fowler, the wifey and I are doing, um, dang, Luke Combs in October, I think the 28th. Uh, and it's going to be in Orlando, you. if you'd like to join. It'd be fun. We already did that. It was fun. It's a really strange year, week, day today. So someone said that the, they're not booked that much this weekend. Um, we are going into the slower seasons. We are going into the deader season. Um, I've seen, I've seen established shops that I've worked with that have been open for 10 years, 10 plus years, and they die off 75%. Um, advertising is definitely key. Reaching out to your, to your, uh, to your clients, letting people know. Um, maybe if you run specials and throw out an email blast, um, but you definitely want to reach out. Also, winter time's really good for, um, winter time's really good for like dealership work, setting up dealership accounts and such while it's slow. And since we're going into the slow season as well, all the shit that you're like, oh, I gotta fix that. When you're working this summer, like maybe there was a process that was inefficient or you didn't like the way that your film is is uh, stored something. Winter time, the slow time is, is the time to fix all that shit. Cold front, I did get the, th the, the, the thing. I didn't have the overlay on correctly. So I do apologize about that, but I did get that big shout out to you for the $3 tip. Thank you very much, sir. You could possibly do, and you thought to yourself, God, I really need an employee. Um, now is a great time to hire an employee. Uh, just because, it, especially if you're gonna train them, if you're gonna train them, um, then now is a great time. Cause then now you have the time to do that much more than you would in the spring and summer. If you're gonna hire a, an experienced employee don't do it during the winter time you always do it in the spring and summer more spring that way that way you make your money off them on the front end because if you hire them during the winter time during the slow season and you don't have enough work you got to float his pay and then let's say he gets a better paying gig in the spring he could dip on you and then you just paid him for the entire winter time and you really didn't make any money off of him but if you uh, if you hire them during the spring, then that the spring and summer you're gonna get him during the busy time, and you're gonna make your money on the front end, and then it'll be worth it. And then once he makes you all that money, then you just keep him during the winter time. It motivates you, motivates him to work hard because he'll get his at the end in the winter time, and job security during the winter. Don't be that asshole that hires a guy during the spring and summer and lets him go during the fall. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing any more of these live stream live streams because I talk too much there, then I can't talk here. That heat gun noise is obnoxious. I did get I did get a replacement heat gun, thank God. Because the Wagners are good, but they're so dang slow. So dang slow. I like the Porter cables. Well now they're craftsmen, but 
50 bucks. Not too bad. Throw some live stream background music since I can't hear the one in the video. I really do hate this heat gun. <laughs> it's tiny, it's slow. My uh my porter cable actually went out. I should finally. stop talking. Just stop talking. And I was trying to run dual dual Wagners. So I can shrink twice as fast, but the uh the breaker in this garage keeps popping. So what can you do? Slow season and always slower around the first of the month. I'd so much rather tint the cold in the cold. People always want it come on warm. Yeah, yeah. The Red Craftsman, yes. The Red Craftsman is the, was the Porter Cable. It's the same thing. The it equalizer ago, heat gun. Which I enjoy it. Well, I gotta look that up. Oh. oh, I left my light. My favorite Craftsman light, I left it in a car. That was a $60 mistake. Which I have a backup. I have this fucking monster light here, but I kind of prefer the Craftsman, even though this thing's fucking beast. I'm gonna take a look at this at this equalizer heat this gun. This is 10,000 lumens. What's that retail for? <laughs> they got a heavy duty one for 250. Can we get crazy on heat guns? Definitely have to turn the lights off. Oh, U Line sells the same heat gun. That was a low light. Side. Milwaukee's got one for 80. The equalizer heat gun that starts at 155. Buck and a quarter on Amazon. We just start doing heat gun reviews. I, I think I'm gonna switch over to freaking low torches. I'm gonna mess with nothing. all the mistakes background music talking to other people all the mistakes Turn off that music. Ah, ba, 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 and maybe it's me just because I'm not using it more more and I should be using it more like Glass aid for me adds adds an additional step 
that makes my workflow a little bit longer. I could use glass aid, but it's weird for me when I use glass aid when I'm shrinking. Um, and I'm not saying it's bad, right? I love the concept, I love the idea, and I support Matt and other tinters, you know, that, that are innovators and, and want to bring, you know, new things to the, to the table in regards to the industry. Uh, it's just not for me. Um, I use it and then I have to peel it and then double shrink it. Then it leaves an adhesive and it's not just glass aid, but it's any type, right? Um, and it's just really not my cup of tea. Like this right now, I'm, I'm like solid. You know, I'll double snap this. I'd have to double snap anyways. I've been double snapping all my stuff. But like when I use glass aid, I notice that like the edge isn't as down as flat for me. You know, and then I see Matt use it and that shit's flat. I mean, that's, that's flat. So maybe it's just me not using it enough. Um, but I feel like it just adds one more step. I don't know. Now that I think about it, cause I gotta throw a light in there, right? And trace it. If I don't throw the light and then just put the tape on, it's essentially the same step. Real life realizations. If anything, Martin, if you don't go to uh, the concert, uh, maybe we can meet up and have dinner, you know, finally. The wifey will be there. You bring the wifey. The little one, I mean, we won't have the little ones, but. That also didn't happen. <laughs> the worst of planning shit. You have to shrink and then go peel and then shrink the edges. Yeah, yeah, you do have to do that with glass aid, which is fine, right? Because I, I double shrink anyways. I've been... I've been having this trend where I double snap my uh, my tops, mainly my bottoms, but also mother of God. See that fat crease? Ooh. Ooh. That was almost a bad day, gents. I've been double snapping my bottoms and my my bottoms for front windshields and back windows. Uh, just because it's been like a lifesaver. I haven't been messing with any fingers Yeah, you, know, you know how it is to get down to the bottom of a, a windshield or a bottom of a deck and try to Get fingers out. It's a pain in the ass You know, what's funny is I say that and I did that and legit the next day I've been using glass aids <laughs> since because I don't use the light right because it's the same thing And I double snap all my all my bottoms and tops on my front windshields and back windows So I'm like it is the same step and I literally realized that as I was talking doing this live stream So I do now now I do if you've seen some of my most recent videos um, I have been using glass aid just so you know Okay, I am my head is sweating My head's sweating, so. Alligator, glad to see you. Hard this at work off, again. Put this on. Let Always hard at work, baby. Sweaty Betty. There we go. Good cover. Sweaty For real. All over my it's gear. true. It really is just no, no cover. It's true. There we go. And no one will believe me because I haven't shot any videos of me actually using it either. But I swear, hand of God. Hand of God. Uh, Kenny Cobb from Facebook says I've never seen anyone post on a Bauer heat gun They are a little heavy uh, heavy, but good heat blows hard. They've been I've been using them for a couple years now. One. Check it out. I Found recently side windows with felt if I drench them it comes out cleaner don't know how uh, Don't know how you do it with very little water. Oh I don't, uh, I don't slide back and forth a lot, especially with windows. If I two stage it or, or I top load it um, and they have felt liners and I don't tape them off, 
the trick is, is that you can't, you can't be shifting like a, a fucking inch back and forth because then you just br you, you bring trash in there I try to set it and forget it Nice Nice Uh, maybe this maybe I did play the right soundtrack. Maybe. I don't know. Towel. Scrubby. Bulldozer, which I gotta get another one. I don't this is the only one I have. Kinda screwed. Um, if I lose it. Which has been known to happen. Alright. Ah. Just take these out. There we go. On the bow. A lot of space. It gives me a little bit of space. Oh, a cigarette butt. Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> My dozer, the one side is falling off. Seen that yesterday. Yeah, that shit happens. I'm gonna get a hundred cars out of a dozer, maybe. After that, you start you start working them corners. I don't know. How, Matt's group, they, there was like a thing like where everyone was snapping the handles off. I've done thousands of cars, probably ten thousand cars in my in my tenure, and I've never broken the handle. How fucking hard are y'all squeegeeing to break the goddamn handle off of a? Off a dozer like that, y'all must be using flat glass dozers because those are a little, the spines are a little stiffer. The automotive bows, the bulldozer doesn't have the, have the spines to run up the the plate, so it's more flexible. Maybe that's why I didn't even double look. I didn't even check. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Kenny Cobb says I, I'm with you. I've never All broken right. a bulldozer. Oh, right. I'm old and weak. <laughs> probably buying the cheap ones. Yep. Yep. Probably. Hell, the last shop I went to for the toy tinder, like. The last shop I went to, it was at Tint Genius in Atlanta, and I was going through their tools, and I noticed that they had a bunch of like cheap Chinese knockoff shit. And I'm like, where did you get this stuff, bro? I'm like, I threw all of it away. I, threw, I mean, it's garbage. Fucking garbage. Frankenstein really is my favorite way. My preferred method. <laughs> I make myself laugh every time. <laughs> I see everyone using those squeegees. I can't find a reason not to use the eight inch flat glass handle with the blade. It's weird. Some films are real grabby, real gra even with a lot of with a, with a lot of slip. Like 3M's film, 3M ceramic film is fucking so grabby. I would never use 3M film just because of that. It makes it so much harder to install film. It creases so easily, and I'm I'm one for like being a whore with the uh, with the uh, Johnson's baby shampoo. I dump a shit ton of soap in my water, and I was still creasing film. Couldn't believe it. I have a, I I have. Ever Frankenstein to window? Never Frankenstein to window. Well, yeah, usually. Um, oh, I like a glove. Frankenstein is usually for anyone that's over five foot four. Um, you know, a lot of like, because like you know, short people mostly women, but short people also don't have the arm reach to hold it out a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, um, a lot of women use uh, or like a reverse roll, uh, just because they they don't have the reach on the Frankenstein. A lot of women and uh, Martin Fell. <laughs> 
if you guys don't know, Martin Fowler is legit like five foot one, like 122 pounds. Um, so it's like, it's really hard for him. He's almost, I'm pretty, I mean, he's close. What's the legal limit for a midget or little people? I don't want to be insensitive to, to Martin. <laughs> Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> I love him. Dwarf. No, dwarf? Is it dwarf? What's the proper word? Little person height. It's legit a Google, Google term. Four foot ten inches. Okay. Okay, the le the the actual term is dwarfism, four foot ten, so okay. Beautiful. Martin 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 barely beats that. You should check out how I install back windows. I have a couple videos on my channel. I call it the S flip. What? It's dark. Hey, did you guys know it's doing the shrinking process? It was laying down, it was doing good. If you've ever had it where like it just doesn't want to lay down, try to feel feel the glass. See if it feels like almost like not braille, because obviously braille is a little bit bigger, but like beep, 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 it's not beep. gonna be smooth. It's gonna feel like sand. Tiny See, particles Townsend's, on the glass. Are you a redhead? With a badass beard? Look at that fucking beard, bro. Beautiful. It's, Slang term would be successful Beautiful. window tinder. You're fucking around with, with, with fingers. <laughs> That's right, baby. Or anything like that. That's right. Little person is very insulting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I was trying to, I'm not trying to be insensitive here. I'm trying to find the term here. You know who hates me live streaming the most is my wife. Because I'm in here obnoxiously laughing and I'm loud and I have headphones in. She hates it. She makes fun of me all the time. Slang term would be successful window tender. <laughs> Perfect. T Town, that is you. Okay. Probably shouldn't do that to my only fucking bulldozer. Especially my last one. No, no, no. I feel like you're far away. Oh, and this mic is bothering me. So bad. She also could be upset that you spent clicking. so much time in the closet. That's right. That's right. I've been in the closet. Hopefully I'll be out of the closet very soon. Very, very soon. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not. So my studio is in my home, right? But like I'm getting a shop oh, in a few months. I think that's nice. A couple months. That's the goal. Even though the shirt, how's the audio? So, I don't yeah. know if I, sh if I move some my entire the office the audio is good. to the shop. My shirt's rubbing against the mic itself, but I got a wind, a windscreen on it. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't sound rubby. Let me know. Oh my God. Why am I whistling like that? T-Town tents, panel removal, sweep removal, 21 love, dodge. I love 20 inch rolls. T-Town, let me know which, uh, which video it is with the install. How to install tent on back window of a 21 Toyota. I think that one would be it. Pat goes in and comes out often, which I bet is really confusing to the wifey. <laughs> yeah, fucking jokers, these guys. These guys. The wifey knows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, quick sponsorship timeout. Big love to our sponsors. Thank y'all. This live stream is also sponsored in part 
by dry shrink prep. Dry shrink prep is the healthy alternative to dryer sheets. Made with 100% all natural ingredients, dry shrink prep is changing the industry for the better, one shrink at a time. For more information and a purchase, go to dryshrinkprep.com. See, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I feel like she is not confused at all. Not in the slightest. <laughs> Martin, you're giving me shit. What are you doing, bro? Are you working? I need you working. I need you to make that money, honey. That one. Okay. All right. See, here's the thing, T-Tents. I don't know. Uh, T-Town Tents. I don't know if I can play your video because I think it might... Uh, copy strike me like I know you give me uh, You know, I don't think you would care, but I think like YouTube cares You have to see I'm gonna have to say Okay, I keep forgetting cold frontin cold frontin. You're not the, you're, are you are you Cody? No you might be Cody. I'm trying to like actually remember who the people in my live streams, right? So I don't might have to shrink these I don't know Ah Jay Wise, thank you. Jay Wise. Down, down all the way. Jay Wise. I have to have a cheat sheet here. Martin says, I got all my appointments done and got uh, ahead of schedule. Got, get on my level. Listen, my one appointment didn't show. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I need more, I need more appointments. So it's so just any of this, Patrick. Yes, yes. Can I call you right back? I'm actually in the middle of a project right now. Uh, yes, yes. I just need uh just yeah. I'm just right at right in the middle of it right now. I hate it when people call me buddy. It's really like the worst fucking, if, especially if I don't know you. I hate it when people call me buddy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, pal. Plus this week I got two new Ford oh. Super Dudes with Pano Roofs. Oh, we all this week. Oh, a good we week. Hell yeah, sounds like a good week. No. Sounds like a good week. Legit time. just stopped. Why would it randomly stop? Mom's busting my balls because I didn't call her this week. Cold friends is uh, I know it's preference, but but I'm always amazed how you get away with not pulling film down a bit for the lower seal. I got mad OCD too, so it could just be me. Um, I mean it's below the seal, right? So if I cut, like let's use this this frame right here, right? So if I cut the bottom of the film here, and I cut the top of the film here, right, and I leave an eighth of an inch gap. It, sh it also shifts the bottom. So theoretically, there's no light gap. Theoretically. The only time that, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen it where like, I mean, Ford focuses, I mean, not Ford focus, like Ford trucks, the outside weather strip is much higher than the inside. Um, but I've never had issues with it. No one's ever complained. So if it ain't broke, right?
I'm with you, cold fronting. No, you ain't. You don't handcuff, motherfucker. You got plotter in your trailer. I guess I could slide it. Here's the thing. Every time I shift down, even just a, even just a little bit, it just makes it a big pain in the ass to, to install. Much more of a pain in the ass. How we doing? 47%. Let me give you 30 minutes. I forgot to open this one too the other day yesterday during the live stream so we're gonna open this one today package over from uh solar fx bing, 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 bing. i know what's in here i'm wondering if i can give these away i want to give these away i don't know i, I don't know how many are in here but uh, I think the giveaway's fun still right fun I cannot get wait to get out of this garage. Cannot wait. I did get a lock on a on an awesome. Oh, sounds fine, man. Oh, perfect. Good. How long should a, a sedan take me complete? I'm trying to get better at my time, but it seems like I can't can't go below four hours ish. Sometimes four and a half hours. Washington. The answer is as long as it's clean, it doesn't take you how long it takes. But you focus on clean, 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 clean. Clean installs. The time, the speed will come. Speed is a natural byproduct of of repetition. Repetition, repetition, repetition. As long as your baseline's good, as long as you're doing the proper steps in order, and at the end result is clean, it's better to take four and a half hours on on a car, and it's damn near perfect. It's com it's customer ready. I don't want to say perfect. It's customer ready. Then then you take two hours and it looks like dog shit because then you're gonna have to do it all over again. You and you're gonna end up spending four hours on it. Justin, what's going on, brother? What's going on? Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Alligator says, I would like to point out that I do indeed know how to hand cut and in fact teach it at the tent school. I prefer to shift down. Fine. Why does this battery, is the battery dying? If you guys need to shift down, shift down. I'm gonna have to work quick. Whatever works for you. So if you guys see, there is a rubber on the, uh, on the frame here. There's no rubber here. I usually like to cut I love this them. side Tinter and shift shirts. it because then I have like some sort of reference. Um, it's harder to reference distance when there's like no rubber here. So that's the way I do it. If that helps you. If it doesn't, whatever. I gotta double check what's going on with my with my super chat. It's, that should have announced it. I'll get a window tint with five dollar super chat. Thank you very much. As Washington, the client will forget how long you took as long as as every time they look at it, it's clean. If it sucks, they will be reminded every time. Hey, he ain't lying. There you go. By the time you come back with a second car, you'll be faster then. There you go. I like that. I like that. Cold friend says, I love them Tinter t-shirts though. 100. But Washington, yep. once you get your, once you get yourself running and rolling, shift it a little bit. Once you self yourself, get yourself rolling, um, it should take you a decent tinner. Should be two hours on a car. I'd, I'd say that's minimum. Because two hours on a car, or just shy of two hours, because two hours on a car means in an eight-hour day, you can turn four cars, um, and that's 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 decent. That's enough to for someone to hire you and then make a little money, and you make your money as well. Um, you know, you can maybe get away with three cars a day, maybe, but four would be better. Martin, just to let you know, I did I did chisel a little bit more away at that edit today. And then I realized that goes to the bank. Yeah, Cold Front, you can definitely check it out. Uh, Tinter Brand, Tinterbrand.com. He's got all kinds of different t-shirts. All kinds of different workflow stuff. Oh, 
we got a little bag now, a little bag. Two hours on a car, unless you're a member in the Facebook forums, then 30 minutes or longer is far too long. That's why I don't mess with around with a lot of those groups. The only, only groups I mess with is Matt's group and Carlos's group. Because they actually manage their groups. Like the other groups, there's like the wild fucking west in those groups. Alligator window tint super chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Which added the Porsche or the podcast. The podcast. Step it up, sir. The podcast. The podcast. Five dollars super chat, and also top super chatter of the day. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Bing, bing, bing. I have been hand. Remember, remember a couple months when I started double cutting. Now I do it all the time. Quick with it, as quick as I can be with it. Wit it. Sweet baby Jesus. I ain't never seen the battery go out so damn quick. I don't think it's going out, but. The auto turn off. He's on this. Even pick up my my collab t-shirt too. Cleaning process has got to be impeccable on this car. That's right, baby. There's That's smokers. Right. There's ash. I can see on the sides. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna get popped for copyright for sure. Sun Solution standing. This is Patrick. Uh, today I have um, I have something going on in Seminole uh, about 12 1 so probably later on this afternoon probably about 2 o'clock 2 30 I'd have something what's going on what do you what kind of car do you have the, uh, the, the Mazda okay cool um, so just so you know so you're aware uh, the factory the factory tinted windows in the back uh, that's just injected dyes in the glass when during the making process uh, so there's not a lot of heat rejection so if your overall goal is for heat rejection you might want to think about doing the whole thing you know even going over the factory tint um, yeah there's just just some food for thought because because a lot of people don't don't realize that it's just privacy it's just dyes so um, so but I can, I can quote you on both of them uh, absolutely so um, if we're if we're doing just the two fronts, you're looking at 99, 129, or 189. The shades are all the same. It's just the, the quality of the film, the heat rejection, that's really where your money's going towards. That's where the difference is between the films. Um, and then if we did the full thing, um, that you're talking sides and back, you're starting off at 299. Um, and then you're gonna, uh, my standard ceramic is gonna be at 389. And then my high performance ceramic is gonna be at 549. So from for less than a hundred bucks for the entry level film to the standard film and getting triple the heat rejection That's usually like where like the most of my you know where my, where a lot of my clients go, but that's totally up to you Bummer. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, you can do the two fronts here Here's the thing if you do the two fronts and you're like gosh, it's still hot If you come back and you do the rest of it, you know, then we'll just minus We'll minus whatever we charged you for the two fronts, and then we'll move from there. We'll do the math. It's simple math. Let me get some information from you, and um, and then I'm going to send you all the information I have. Okay? Give me one second here. I got bitched that last time for this. Tint tweez. And what's your what's your first name, hon? It's Jade. J A D. Last name? Um, it's Sarah. It's S. T-I-R-R-E-T-T. -T. Oh, well. Don't call okay. her. Okay. And what's uh, your cell phone number? Why? Let's Copy fast forward to that. There you go. Now no one's going to bitch and moan to me. I didn't give her address or information. All right. And uh, let me see. Looking at my schedule here. Yeah, I have something. I should be good at 2 o'clock. Did you want to just do for 2 o'clock today? That's fine. And about how long does it take? I'm going to be coming on my lunch break. <laughs> on your lunch break. Uh, it usually takes, yeah. for two fronts, it's, it probably shouldn't take, and a glass strip, no longer than 45 minutes, an hour-ish.
but I'll keep that time restraint in mind and just, just double time it. Okay. Yeah, because I have about an hour, and I think I'm like 10 minutes out from you. Okay. Uh, are you, is this address on Google? Like That's correct. That yes, right. We're primarily a mobile tenting business, but uh, but we have a garage for, for clients that don't have one. Actually, I'm in the garage right now. So, yeah. Okay. If clients don't have a garage, I need an enclosed garage with power to be able to uh, to do clean installs. So, so yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, no, it's at the uh, the Boot Ranch Apartments. I'll send you I'll I'll send you a confirmation email or text with our appointment. It'll have the address there. Just click on the link and then it'll it'll open your maps in your phone and send you right to me. Sounds great. Okay, I went ahead and sent you that that schedule right there. So you should be getting an email and a text like in 30 seconds. And um, and the two fronts, just real quickly, did you want to do the entry, the standard, or the high performance? So the difference is in heat rejection, my entry film blocks 23% of heat, my standard ceramic blocks 64, and my high-end ceramic or my high-performance ceramic blocks 96%. And the price points were 99, 129, or 189. Um, I can probably do the 129. Beautiful, beautiful. I'll get yeah. you taken care of. And, and that, I, does that include the strip in the front? The, tri the strip would be an additional 29. So pre-tax, you'd be at uh, you'd be at right around 160 pre-tax. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. I will see you at two o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye, bye. now. Bye. Told y'all. Hey, just so you guys know, that call came in from the Tint Mob advertising, just so you know. There you go. And then I'm using Tint Taking Liz. calls live. And then I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, uh solar effects on the car. Not gonna use tin. Uh, just DSP. that simple. Just that easy. Now I just I, I was gonna send her the proposal, but I wanted to just close on it. So it sounds it sounded like she was just ready to go. So I didn't even send the proposal. I just I just closed her and, and set the appointment. So you got to kind of feel them out. If they feel like they're uh, if you feel like they're just kind of shopping around, then then you know shoot them the proposal. But if they feel they feel pretty pretty good then um then just go ahead and just assume the sale and just ask when they want to book it's the simplest way if they don't want to do it then they'll tell you oh i'm just not ready right now but at least you're being assertive and you're assuming the sale if you guys don't if you guys are if any of y'all are trained in sales that's that's one of the things it's a very very big component in sales assume the sale ask for the clothes don't ask for the clothes just assume it and they'll just move forward with it People don't like confrontation. Uh, T-Town Tint says, uh, what program do you use for editing? Uh, I use uh, DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve. telling y'all if you haven't tried tint whiz i mean not just because they're a sponsor um they legit you just saw me use it they're legit like they're really awesome the system is awesome um you get uh god it's just so good and then you, know, you look so good because everyone else some people might text martin fowler's the only one i know martin fowler's like on top of his fucking game and um, and before he started using Tint Whiz, he would send uh, really good comprehensive uh, texts with links. He would save them as sh as like sh uh, keyboard shortcuts with uh, with links to videos to show his heatbox demo. I mean, I I I stole the entire thing, and I told him I'd steal it. <laughs> um, but. Which is good, but I think the Tint Whiz ones is better because it's not just a text. I mean, it looks like you sat down and typed out a proposal, but you did it in 30 seconds and not three hours, but it looks like you spent an hour on it. 
like legit an hour on it. It's big enough. It's not big enough. Come on, Patrick. Love hearing live phone calls. Good, good, because those happen. And actually, actually, it's funny that we're speaking about it because if you guys noticed when the phone rang, I think it said Largo window tint, right? So that is actually uh, the tint mob. The tint mob, uh, I'm working with the tint mob. Not only are they a sponsor of the channel, but I'm also working with them um, with my personal business. And because I wanted to, I wanted to see how they worked. I wanted to see how the process was and everything. And it's been awesome. It's been awesome. I just, I just got another call. So, I mean, that's good. Good, good, good. And again, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the way they work is they'll set up They'll set up search engine optimization websites. Um, they'll set that up. Uh, what am I thinking? In different cities. So like I got a pretty good lock in Palm Harbor, uh, but he set one up in, he set one up in Largo and Clearwater. So I'm getting those surrounding areas. And the way that it works is that like he'll work with me and then only me, exclusively me, within those areas. So, now it takes a little bit of time. I think it took about a month to actually set up the website. And then it took uh, about a month to set up the website. And then, and then it takes a little bit of time to get going, but like we started it like maybe two weeks ago and I already have the, the calls coming in. I got that for you, Martin. I got that for you. <laughs> Dick. Look at that. Which is great. Look how easy that he's is. He's telling me he's doing a first clients for first clients. He usually averages two to three hundred leads a month, which is amazing. And the price is is pretty good. Like initial setup, I think it's five hundred bucks to start up the, to to get the website set up and running. And then after that. Um, uh, it could be, it could vary between four to six hundred dollars a month in in lead generation. But at 300, 300 leads a month, you saw me just do one and I closed it. You know, at three hundred leads a month, that's 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 a lot of money <laughs> bringing in. You know, there is definitely an ROI on uh, on that investment. So I like it. Don't make fun of me, but like, I've been super into just like doing this for all my quarters. You know, get a liner. Get, this one isn't that bad because I would actually, it would be pretty easy except for like this line right here. But since I'm using five, it'd be double five and be really pain in the butt to kind of see through both of that. Um, so making a template real quickly is super easy. But like, Some of these cars, like the Ford Fusions with those, with those front quarters, can be a pain in the butt. Those tiny little front quarters, those tiny back quarters. Did they cut through? I did cut through. Barely cut through, but I cut through. Plus, it's awkward when you're cutting quarter quarters it could be awkward just because of the just the weird angles that you get yourself into. So I've been a big fan of uh, just just uh, looking sharpening the damn thing. Plus, it's hard for me to double cut quarters. The film shifts too much for me. So it's just so much easier for me to do it like that. All right, 
we're ready for install. Forty-four percent on that. How much is that tent mob service? Uh, the tent mob service again. Um, it's. Uh, I'm gonna take this because I gotta switch the battery out. Uh, the tent mob service again. I believe it's it's five hundred initial setup. And that's to get the to generate the website and get the set up, website set up. <laughs> Sneeze. <laughs> Ew. Gross. Um, and then. It could be anywhere between four and six hundred dollars a month for for the lead generation but again it's absolutely worth it absolutely worth it the audio is going to cut out a little bit because i have a i have a, a media mod housing around it this is actually kind of a pain in the butt Did it just disconnect? Which I don't understand why it disconnected because I didn't take the battery out. It just it just unplugged from the multimedia. Stupid. Whatever. I killed the live stream. All right. My wireless mic patch. Dang, that's a fucking shame. Cold friend says, Patch, where'd you get that blade snapper? That's from, um, it comes with the with the tool pouch for uh, I got the auto pull the the auto pouch from uh, Jeremy Shapiro uh, quick play quick quick draw tools It ain't Clean cheap. I think, up. I think the uh, I think the, uh, the The pouch or the apron or no the pouch The tool belt. It's like uh, 150. I think 170. I Like it All right, switch out the battery. The bat, I don't understand what happened with the, the live stream on YouTube because I just disconnected the housing around the GoPro, but the battery was still in. So I'm confused as to why it would disconnect the live stream. So I don't know if that's gonna work in the future. It's not. <laughs> Um, because future me here. Nope. I have to switch the battery and then I can hook up an external battery and then never have to switch it out. But then, but then I can't hook up a, an external mic to it. Okay, we're definitely using razor blades on this one. Uh, because it's just old. It's old in the smokers.
what I want to try. Uh, one of these. Martin Fowler gave me this one. This one's a tent studio one, I believe it is. It's pretty good. I've been seeing these squeezes all over the place. Uh, Tint Wiz has got them. Um, Matt's got them. They're just, they're surprisingly good. I'm pretty, I thought they were just cheapo Chinese squeegees, which I think they are still, but they're pretty good. Not too bad. And the low profile. Look at that. Look how tiny that is. This fucking battery. This battery will be the fucking end of me today. <laughs> Blades are money. I think I have some around here. Oh. I, I, I'm on the fence with them because this is the first uh, you using this here live is the first time I ever used them, which are good. But like they don't they don't extract a lot of water so i see a lot of moisture afterwards z customs what's going on man man how's business bro still getting out there still doing it Sweeps pulled out of this damn thing? I don't think I do. Maybe? I can't get through one fucking window? One window. Come on. No, I think I top load. No, I don't. Whenever I top load, I wipe the panel. Oh, top load? I didn't shrink. I can't remember. Nice, Z Customs. That's awesome. Good for you, my friend. I hope the family's doing well. Glad you could join us. Definitely pull the sweeps out. You're not a real tinter if you don't if you pull sweeps that's what people tried uh tried telling me about my charger panel remover video post yesterday you know what i'll let you know a lot of tinders are assholes okay i heard someone say that um what i heard someone and i won't name names but someone that's like that like people know in the industry and they're like they said something about a panel pulling because like top loading or something like that and and they mentioned i'm not gonna say he or she um, but they mentioned that like oh yeah when 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 they uh well, kind of like when the they know how to, how to really tent you don't have to pull sweeps well no shit like you see there i can i can't do that with the i cannot pull sweeps on every fucking crush, car the handle i can't like get into a corner that doesn't mean it's, get a it's corner and pull end oh, up clean with it. jesus some jobs, some jobs just turn out cleaner when you pull the panels. Some people, you know who doesn't like to pull panels? Ooh, kinda like Fucking this. pussies. <laughs> and normally, especially that should with be a the, t-shirt. Don't be a pussy. Get, pull a panel. I can only get so far down. People that don't pull um, panels are just scared they're gonna break come back something. Come with another tool. 
There's a reason why I didn't pull panels the first year that I was tinting windows. Because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, and I didn't want to break nothing, and I didn't have the money to pay for it if I broke something. I'll have to come in with the triage. But guess what? If it's you know what you're doing. stiffness to, to push against it. You know what you're I doing. Need to, I don't need to come in. You can definitely pull panels. It goes, it turns out, lock cleaner. Huh. I don't I like I'm that. not talking to Matt. Matt loves it. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Not Don't shabby. talk to Matt like that. No, no, Matt. I mean, Matt, that's good. It is what it is. It works. Here's the thing. It works, right? Whatever you do, Matt never pulls panels. I never see Matt pull panels. I never see Matt pull sweeps. That's okay. What I never also hear from Matt is, is like crazy talk talking about like, um, I'm a real tenor because I don't pull fucking panels. That's just straight shit talking <laughs> in my opinion. And like, I don't, that's stupid. Right? Because there's been, there's been one truth in this industry that I've learned is that the term a thousand ways to skin a cat has never been more true than in the industry. I know great guys that only pull panels. I know great guys that only top load. Like whatever way works for you, reverse roll, Frankenstein, wet shrink, dry shrink, no one way is the way, right? Work with whatever works best for you. I'd probably say one of the hardest R and R's would be an R and R with five percent. Um, but because but to be able to but to be able to tell someone like, oh, you top load, or you bought you pull panels? Well, you're not a real fucking tenor. Eat my fucking ass. All right, there you go. <laughs> you crazy, crazy. Uh, making the t-shirts one of those b businesses too. <laughs> uh, they call me that too. T towns, don't worry about it, man. Listen, this is. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, negative people out. You know what? You're out there. You're making videos. You're making how-to stuff. You're help. You're tr you're trying trying to help show people how you do it. If people don't like the way I tint, guess what? They probably don't watch my channel and don't consume my content. You know. And there's people that don't tint like me that do consume my content. Martin Fowler. First time Martin and I worked together, I was like, "Can we pull the panels?" He's like, "No." I'm like, mm, "Fine, fine." Mm-hmm. I'm making that shirt. I have I have one of those businesses too. Nice. Send me the shirt. Uh don't be a pussy. Pull panels. With a big old kitty. Uh I should probably yeah. Oh. Gang gang. Is Ismal from uh Facebook says I'm at bottom. There you go. Hey. You are what you are, baby. You are what you are. Real tenders also say you can't start a business in tinting with no experience to hell with those people. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing. I don't have a problem with tenters. I don't. And, it, you know, I have a problem with shitty people. That's it. Done. Done. You know, the, you know, the people that always talk like that are the people that never want to help out are the cats that are like would never take a trainer on to never show anyone how to do the industry uh, because they're going to they're afraid they're going to turn into uh, an installer. I will train a thousand people in my area. I don't give a shit if they open up shops right next door to me. I'm better than them. I know it. It is what it is. Just because I teach someone else how to do it doesn't mean that they're going to take away my business from me. It's, it's not going to happen. I'm too. I'm, I'm good. I'm good at what I do. I want other people to work. If you don't teach anyone the business, and you don't teach anyone the craft, then it will die on the vine. Uh, only other industries I know that do that same toxic attitude is welding. Fuck, welding is... Any trade? I guess it's any trade. Yeah, any trade. Welding. Welding's... Welding's gangster. I'd love to learn how to weld. I got enough stuff on my goddamn plate. <laughs> I got enough stuff on my plate. <laughs> but see and and that, and that's why I uh a couple years ago I was really into trying to get sponsors and be like this and be like that and then certain people didn't like the way I do certain things. Uh oh. Alligator window tint super chatted $4.99. There is no such thing as competition. Only other people who do what you do. Preach baby. Preach it. Five dollars super chat. Thank you very much, alligator. Appreciate it. Oh, damn. Is that my phone? No. No. No competition. Only other people to do what you do. So it's just standing. This is Patrick. Wait, hold on. I didn't see that. That's right. This is me. 
I didn't see that. Oh, no, that was the actual call. So it's Lucius Tinian, this is Patrick. K24, what's going on, man? What's going on? Welcome to the channel, man. Welcome to the, to the live stream. That's right, this is me. If you're dominating, you'll never have to worry about competition. I don't worry about anybody. All I'm doing is focusing okay. on me. Keeping my shit straight, keeping my house in line. I don't care about no one else. I don't care if people post. I don't care if there's a shop literally next door to me uh, and yes, we're sharing uh, a wall. I, mean, I don't need, care. Uh, it doesn't bother me. We need garage with power. So, but it's not a problem. If you don't have one, you can drop off at our garage. This industry is so much. There's so much in the industry. You can be high end. You can be low end. You can be mid grade. You can sell. You can sell dyed film all day long. You can sell only ceramic yeah, where, all day long. There's located? so much to do. Where are you? He located? says, uh, K24 says, are you cool with Sean from Window Tent Warriors? I mean, I I'm not I bad with him. Florida. I mean, uh, where in I mean, I have his phone number in my phone, but we don't like, we don't call and talk about our lives. <laughs> why? Why? Curious. No, I'm totally cool. I'm cool with everybody. You know what? Um, uh, you know who I'm not cool with? People I don't talk to. <laughs> That's pretty much it. If I'm not cool with you, I don't talk to you. If I see you in public and I and we're like at a tent thing, I'll be like, Shay. And then I'm like, I'm at you. And then you're not really part of my life. So it doesn't matter. We're located in Palm Harbor. Uh, Ismo says, uh, hey, bro, do you charge for a phone consultation? Um, I do. But we do, I do video consultations, so I can see you face to face. We can talk a little bit. Hour long com consultations. If you're interested, you're more than welcome. I can get the link in here for you. Give me a second okay. here. Where are you? In Florida. I'm just taking. Thanks, asshole. Oh my God, I remember that. Clearly. Hold on. This is funny. Downtown Tampa. Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. We're located in Palm Harbor. Are you close to Palm Harbor? Hello. Dude says I want to check and see how far you are. Okay. Where are you? In Florida. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Ismail, yeah, I'll go ahead and drop the link in here for you. Uh go ahead and uh go ahead and fill that out right there. I'm gonna drop the link over on YouTube as well if you guys are interested in working with me. Um I do video consultations, hour long video consultations. Um we can talk about the business, we can talk about you, we can talk about whatever you want. The biz. Hey man from Oregon, Jeff H, what's going on, man? Long time. Long time. L Ray, um, what's the number so I can call you? Uh, I'm not going to be putting my phone number out for everyone to know because then everyone's going to call me. But um, if you just click the link right there that I posted up in there, you can go ahead and get a hold of me that way. Um, and we'll set something up for sure. Uh, how much? Oh, sorry. A lot of stuff. If you guys want to get a hold of me, you guys want to do video consultations with me, it's going to run you $149 an hour. But I promise you, it'll be worth it. Sun Solutions. Typically when I talk to people, video consultations, things of that nature, we're talking business strategy, we're talking ad advertising, we're talking um, how to how to set your rates, how to set your price it's points. It's bad juju to put film away before you're done with the vehicle. Just let everyone know. Cold front and says, if you put your number out, Pat, I'll only send I'm doing you it picks. because I got fucking six feet of space in here. And I need all the fucking space I need. Ah... God, I hope I get this shop. I didn't get the shop that I was talking about. Did not. Did not. Let's take a quick uh, sponsorship timeout, y'all, just so uh, so we can give some love to the sponsors. Appreciate it, y'all. This live stream is also sponsored in part by Solar Effects Window Films. At Solar Effects Window Films, their goal is simple: make your car look hotter while keeping your interior cooler. Their automotive window films are manufactured with the most advanced technologies available, which allow them to deliver a broad range of products to meet your needs. 
Check out solareffectswindowfilms.com and find out why they're the fastest growing film company in the US. If you guys notice, I, I, the trend that I have with my sponsors is that I use it. If I don't use it, they're not a sponsor. Time uh, to move the car over. DSP. Uh, the Tint Mob. Tint Wiz. Solar Effects. If I don't use it, they ain't a sponsor. Because I gotta, I gotta know that they're beneficial to my business and to me. And if they are, then I can push, I can oh, push that gangster. product looks to someone sick. else. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, Faggle. I know that, Faggle. I know that. Love that movie. Do you have a good site to go for pulling seals and pulling panels? Yeah, yeah. Go to uh, YouTube.com and check out this guy named Patrick Latman. <laughs> yeah, if you check out uh, my videos, I do have a bunch of panel pulling videos. I used to have them in their own category. And I'm thinking about switching it back and putting it back in their own category. But if you type in, I mean, uh, the videos I do have, you can just type in panel pulling under my channel and it should pull up. Panel pulling or sweep removal, something of that nature, and it should pop up. Um, but you can also check out, um, the train. Oh. Hold on. Let me see here. Hold on. I can tell you another one. I'm Marco. The one over there. Marco from, uh, subscriptions. Marco from, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Jesus from Expel. <laughs> And I'm blanking out on it. That's the one thing I don't like. I don't like using a cleaning squeegee. I mean, I like using a clean squeegee and install squeegee, but I do like the squeegee. What? It's really stiff. I like how hard it is. I'm a child. Kids in the tiny places. Fucking Marco. Lord almighty. It releases the liner when I say. There it is. Mostly new cars. Thanks. Or it gets the hose. You get the hose anyways. The film trainer. Thank you. Lord almighty. Let's see if he changed his name yet. Oh, we did change his name. Okay, yeah, so Marco was waiting for um, him to hit 100 subscribers before he could change his name. But if you go to the film trainer, that's <coughs> Marco. He's one of the trainers for Expel, and he's been putting up videos as well like crazy. So that's another good one. He does a lot of panel pulling videos. I'm going to go ahead and put that link in here for you. You guys want to check out some other videos from other peeps? I don't know why my chat keeps coming out. There you go. Over on uh, the Facebook. Boom. The Film Trainer by Marco. Fucking awesome. Great guy, too. Great guy. Yeah, but see, that's what I love about my sponsors. That's another thing. I don't know if you guys have known this, but like, this is me. This is how I am. This is how I truly am. You know, I don't, I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't, I mean, I curse from time to time, but I'm not crazy, crazy about it. You know what I mean? I kind of curse like a sailor from time to time, especially when you get frustrated. Wow, it's obnoxious. Um, but like my people know how I am, you know, like I, when I was first starting to get sponsors then like people were trying to sp sponsor me and they're like, well, yeah, but we need you to do this and we need you to do that. And then I learned real quickly that like people want to turn you into the little puppet and I'm like, mm, 
and then I almost did it because I wanted the money, but then I'm like, mm, never mind. I don't want the money. I don't want the money that bad. So that's what you're going to get me like how I am right here. This is how, if you know me in real life, this, I am exactly the same way. Curse like a sailor. I have a good time. I love the people I love and the Work people that I don't like, dies. they're not in my life. You know, we're really good friends when I FaceTime you naked. <laughs> trouble with that liner. I don't know what's going on. Almost done. We have 10 minutes left. About the last install here uh, on the front window. Need a plotter. You know what? I'm thinking about getting a plotter. I'll be honest with you. Let's call a spade a spade. Everyone knows my shit anyways, right? It's the winter time. I could pull the money for a plotter um, and not like a, a graph tech. I don't got 5,500 for that shit. Um, but I know, I know one of my cats, um, my buddy Cody, he's over in Orlando. Um, he just started up his own thing. He's doing super awesome. He got one, he got a Titan three, uh, one of the affordable plotters, cat, uh, cost effective plotters. I've been thinking about doing that. You can get a you can get a Titan three for about two thousand, two thousand shipped. Um, and I I asked him how it's going. He's, it's going well. He says he loves it, um, and it's it's doing really well. So, I would get a plotter, um, but um, what, I'm, what I'm trying to give myself a little bit of wiggle room because I want to make sure. Like right now, we got through October, um, but then, uh, but then. I still have November. I still have December. I still have January. Those are the hardest months. And last year, I legit work work dried up to the point where I didn't work. And I literally drove to Orlando three or four days a week just to find work to get done to pay the bills and whatnot. So I'm trying to hold back as much money as I can just so I know that I can get through the winter time. After that, we're fucking full send. We're full send. Um, and I will, I, you know, it's hard to, it's, it's hard to get 5,500 for, if I wanted the plotter I wanted, it's going to be a graph tech, right? Um, the graph text is, is an awesome plotter and it'll last 10 to 15 years. Um, but I don't have, I don't have the chatter for that right now, but what I am willing to do is drop two grand on a, on an okay plotter. And then, um, and then when I get the money that comes in, then I'll get the graph tech. uh pat you still gaming you get that bf next month um i am still gaming i'm i mean i'm not like listen i was streaming because like i like it and i like doing that stuff but then like i i, I quickly realized that like it's not good to, <laughs> to try to turn my t window tinting channel into a, a channel for like gaming this is not like a personal i mean it is my name but like we're still associated with with window tinting and i don't mind going out of the, out of the realm of window tinting and automotive aftermarket ow maybe some wraps maybe some ppf hey. things of that nature but still i gotta i gotta keep it reeled in within that time frame but i game on my on a personal level just because i love gaming and i got a badass uh, setup If you guys want to catch me, uh, I usually game. I, I play. Uh, hell did I install this entire door and it didn't turn off once? Turn off 17 times when I did the other doors. Um, what am I? I'm playing Cold War right now. Call of Duty. I play that a lot. If you guys want to find me, you guys check me out. Yellow Fever. Hey, a new towel though. That's me, baby. The driver side. You catch that Yellow Fever, baby. You're done. Pristine. Perfect. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not hitting the Fortnite anymore. I just, I. I Call of Duty is getting really annoying with the with the uh, um, with the amount of hackers. It really ruins the game. Um, and Fortnite, Fortnite got very competitive. Like everyone was playing, it, it was good, but then it, it started to separate. Like I got to the point where like it was either you're a badass or you fucking sucked, and that was pretty much how it is. Like 
So like you shoot at one person that build a whole goddamn, you know, it was just it got really to the point where it wasn't fun anymore. So I stopped playing Fortnite. Take the top screw out to help. Oh, okay. I'll take the top screw out next time. Them damn 13 year olds. Yes. And the 13 year olds are the biggest shit talkers. Like they're the dirtiest too. Talk about your mama and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> oh man. Yo, lady's making a stew. I think she's making some sort of stew. That's gonna be good in the crock pot. This model, though, the Ford normally okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you. T Town. T Town Tents. Appreciate it, brother. It's all off. We'll do this last window and then uh, we'll do what well, we got one more time for one more sponsorship spotlight and then uh, we'll uh, we sit down and talk for a little bit. Are you using the old foot to trim and clean the window? Just notice that. Yeah, yeah, I am. But if I use if I use the old foot to scrape the sides, then that knife is, is now no good to me to cut because I, I in my head, this is now duller. So like that whole blade will go away. It is what it is. And again, this is an older car and there's smokers and stuff. So I got to scrape off. I got to scrape off the junk. Scrape off the junk. Right on the floor. And I do actually I have to record this because uh, I I didn't record the uh, the voiceover for for one of the sponsors um, I did and then I never saved it so I got to record it so I'll, I'll just do that live with you yeah y'all can see me work a little bit so you can cut then use it to clean for the for the rest of the install pretty much yep if it's long enough I like a long blade so I can get in there because short blades are too stiff right and they don't bend the long blade it's 13 breaks on that blade right so as long as there's like seven or eight or nine breaks then it's long enough to bend and still stay flat against the glass too short and they don't stay flat against the glass oh shit big shift big shift The real question is nice work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> this life. Maybe. New crazy thing is Martin gave me that damn card. Well over a month ago. This is the first time I'm using it. <laughs> oh, damn. That's my bad. You and your mouse on the screen. That's my bad. I didn't mean that. I have three screens too, and it would happen to be on that one. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's pretty much it for that. That's pretty much it for that. That's a wrap. Just putting in the thing and calling it a day. Yeah, sorry about the, ugh, that's just too much. I'm just gonna record, and when I record, I'm gonna be quiet because I can't, ooh. I can't be uh I can't be talking on there and then talk here. It's hard. And then I end up saying literally the same the same thing. How is going to improve my shop with your conference? Uh I don't know. L, you let me know. Why do you what do you want to talk about, L? You let me know. We'll do, we'll talk about it right now. What do you want to talk about? 
if you want to have a consultation with me then there's a problem right there's something that there's an issue that you need help with right and this issue might result in you having better cleaner installations um a more efficient process maybe we can change the how you you do your pricing for your for your film so that we can sell more film the goal of the consultation listen uh this is a question from facebook l ray says uh, how is gonna how is it gonna improve my shop with your conference so the goal is is that when you have a, con a problem you have a conference with me is that you have a problem right with something whether your process how you're doing something and we want to find a solution for that problem and then in the theory is is obviously that you're going to be better it really just depends if i could talk to you you know sometimes i talk to shops and i i talk and i and i have especially if we're going to do like a, a touring tinter thing where like i actually travel to you then it ends up being an hour-long conversation before i even uh before i even agree that i was going to come to your shop so i would sit down and I'll talk to you about all the personal stuff um how many cars can you do in a day uh, what's your average time frame on a car? Um, what are your price points? Uh, which, which films do you sell the most? What's your average ticket per car? How many employees do you have? What's your overhead? We go over everything. And then I determine whether or not I can improve your process. And I only need to do it by about five to 10%. And if I can do that, then it's worth me coming out to your shop. Um, because if I can improve your process by five to 10% on average, I can make a shop anywhere between an additional 35,000 to I'd say 50,000 a year residual, right? Um, as long as you, you know, it's about, it's about, it's about streamlining your process. Um, so that's how I can help your shop, right? I can help you figure out the problems that you're having expedite it. And so it's not a problem anymore. And then you move on to doing more work. Unboxing time. Woo. Okay. We got to do one more thing real quick. Cause I do have to. I do have to do a sponsorship thing um, and I have to record it. This live stream. Nope. Let's see here. Hold on. Clear. There we go. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Okay. I got to turn off the, the fan. All right. I'm going to record a, uh, a thing here so that i don't have to say this over and over and over again so we're gonna go ahead and go with this give me a second not the screen share where's my dslr where's this pop up here Be nice and small here here we go that way uh we're gonna go ahead and do the sponsorship and then i don't have to say this again let's see if i can get this done in the first shot you ready here we go <clears throat> hmm. 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 should i do the good one and now time for sponsorships no 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 we're just gonna talk regular regular this live stream is sponsored in part by the tint mob specializing in lead generation websites specifically designed to help training oh see i messed it up already let's try it one more time here we go this live stream is sponsored in part by the tint mob the tint mob specializing in lead generation websites specifically oh my god i cannot do it let's do it one more time Take two, take three. Here we go. Is this fun for you guys? Here we go. This live stream is sponsored in part by the Tint Mob. The Tint Mob specializing in lead generation websites specifically designed to help tinting businesses grow. They combine extensive market research, advanced SEO techniques, and proven web design strategies that deliver a product that is made for one thing. Get your business consistent, exclusive tint leads year round. The Tint Mob also offers SEO services for your own website and online automated upsell checkout funnels that can be added to your website. The Tint Mob, revolutionizing the way consumers purchase window tinting services. I think that's it. I think we got it. And then I'll make sure to save it. Woo. And we're back. The fun and the joys of, of what I do sometimes. Maybe don't record it live. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Sometimes, and I'm the worst reader. Legit the worst reader. I'm like, go, 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 go. You see me read something? It's the worst. Absolute worst. Tim Barney said you can do it. I think it turned out really well. Let me see. This live stream is sponsored in part by the Tint Mob. The Tint Mob specializing in lead generation. There's a little this bit right live there. Stream is 
This live stream is sponsored in part oh. by the Tint Mob. The Tint. This live. Oh this my God. live stream is sponsored We're listening in part to it because it's on. It's on repeat. Mob. The Tint Mob, specializing in How lead generation this? websites specifically designed to help tinting businesses grow. They combine extensive market research, advanced SEO techniques, and proven web design strategies that deliver a product that is made for one thing. Get your business consistent, exclusive tint leads year round. The Tint mm -hmm, Mob also mm -hmm, offers mm -hmm. SEO services for your own website and online automated upsell checkout funnels that can be added to your website. The Tint Mob, revolutionizing the way consumers purchase window tinting services. All right, there we go. Now I saved it, so it's not going to... Usually I hit the button, it could play it stop, but that one just kept on fucking going. And now I'm going to save it. Okay. This live stream. There we go. That's how it's done. All right, damn it. I tried to have the super chat ring in during it. You ass. <laughs> I don't have pants on again. I don't. I have shorts on though. I have shorts on. <laughs> uh they just followed me today on my facebook page hell yeah hell yeah um okay uh, let's see el ray says i have no problem at all the problem i see i don't think is a problem i do a lot of cars but what i want is luxury cars where the money is okay so there is the problem the problem is you don't have luxury cars where you think the money is yeah so you do have a problem Right? Not a whole, a huge problem. I'm not saying like your business is in dire need, but you have a problem. And the problem is you want luxury cars where you think the money is. Okay. So let's talk for an hour. I could definitely help you out with that. I do. I do. I mean, I don't, I don't hit the super luxury cars. Right. So I don't do a lot of like Lambos and Ferraris and stuff like that. But I mean, I did, t I did just recently tint a, a Tesla Model S Plaid for $1,300. I did tint a, uh, a model x for 1550 uh you know i do thousand dollar tint jobs all the time so i mean if if that's the price range you want to do i definitely have experience in that and i can i can show you what i've done that works for me and and guide you into the direction so that you can get those luxury cars that you want define luxury luxury is a relative term luxury for some people is a car because everyone has a because they all they have is a bike so what what uh, what realm of luxury do you want? Do you want Ferraris, Lambos? Do you want is luxury to you BMWs and and Mercedes? I don't know. Let me know. Luxury cars in my area is a 2006 Mazda Miata. That's right, Cole Front. That's right. That's right. It depends. Everyone's a little bit different. So okay, um, but yeah, uh, El Ray, if you want, we can go. We can go ahead fill out the the thing and. Uh, yeah, alligator's killing it. Brandon James says Al alligator tint is killing some luxury cars. Goddamn right he is. He's doing great. So, uh, I do Toyota Hondas, new cars. Okay. Yeah, I mean we could talk about that. If you're doing, I mean, if Toyota Hondas, if you're doing those all the time and you want to do better cars, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. How are you getting those those clientels? What what are your promotions? What are your advertising? Is your advertising showing? Um, Civics and Hondas and oh Honda Honda Civics and and Toyota Camrys, then it's kind of hard to to sell to to BMWs and Lam and Lam uh, Mercedes, right? Um, I would probably I probably the advertising I would do because you're gonna get nicer cars from time to time, right? You know, every, a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. So um, I would I would do a lot of heavy a lot of pictures, a lot of promotions um, when you have those bigger nicer cars in. Um, and then that way when you do your promotions people see that those are the car. Oh, oh this guy just posted window tin. Oh god. Look here. He must be doing BMWs. I have a BMW Maybe I should go to him Done Done um, You know and it's all about your demographics and what and also like new Honda cars You could do new Honda cars and then also do um, higher and nicer stuff as well Bugatti I wouldn't touch a Bugatti I wouldn't touch a Bugatti if I was getting a blowjob. I don't care. No, that's not happening. Cause I, I don't touch, I don't touch like the really, really exotic cars. Uh, because if you fuck up one thing on those cars, you're smoked. I don't care if you're charging fifteen hundred dollars. You break one window, you're in the red. 
and it uh, it's not cheap to fix those cars so i wouldn't want to touch that i wouldn't want to touch that but yeah uh el rey i think i can got i think i can guide you into the direction where where it is right i mean let's talk about it if you're still here how much do you charge for for your standard cars you know are you trying to push more ceramics right if you're pushing more ceramics on these higher end cars uh you're probably gonna be in the 400 500 range right right so one hour with me is gonna cost you 150 bucks and i'm gonna triple your investment with your first car you're welcome take that door panel off <laughs> you know hell no um okay what else was i gonna talk about oh yeah the box the unboxing unboxing do i have the oh the bomb boxing let's do this oh hello like on the fly change change the angle um do wait where's my knife I would bet it's like a Kia. Do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Solar effects sent me this package. Yep. El Rey says uh, 179, 329, and. 479 yeah so all i have all, all i have to really do is talk you into being able to sell one mid-grade car and you've doubled your investment so yeah i definitely think it would be worth it oh yeah so these used to be oh nice so these used to be in stock and then they got they they discontinued them it was it was a reason why there was a reason why they couldn't keep them anymore and uh and whatnot so bam tint fuel energy drink by my sponsor solar effects window films uh but they brought these these back and they're they have the new uh spray tanks too that have like this like this like pattern on it it's really cool really cool how many do i have here a dozen can i can i can i give these out i don't know if i can give these out because i don't know if they're gonna make it in the mail i'd hate to like send how does it taste i don't know i don't i don't drink energy drinks i have no idea i have no idea how it tastes let's see what's the flavor say 116 uh milligrams of caffeine i feel like that's a lot is that a lot you got some uh patience not opening goodies i know uh cold front said it'll, it'll explode a tinder with no knife i know right tastes like kool-aid i don't drink energy drink honey nina maybe my wife will do it nina honey El Ray says, okay, I'm going to pay for that hour. Nothing to lose, a lot to learn. That's right, baby. That's right. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Taste test. Honey! Where the hell is she? I never know what, she, I never know what she's doing. The meatloaf. The meatloaf! I was just going to say that, Martin. <laughs> I was just going to say that. She's not watching you. No, she doesn't watch me. She hates me. <laughs> we talk about window tinting. She hates it. She's, I, I'll talk to her about like window tinting. Hey, babe, can you? Um, everyone can hear you, by the way. Um, you want to taste test this? Uh, this uh, energy drink. I don't drink energy drinks. I know you do. You want to get in here? No, I don't want to get in here. All right, I love you. Bye. That's a no. <laughs> no. Fine. Let's. I'm sure it tastes good. Let's just let's leave it at that. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes good. Yeah, El Ray, just uh, just fill out that link. 
and uh, I can get your information and I will contact you and we'll set up that uh, video consult video consult cold front <laughs> you see what I'm saying she has no time for any of my shenanigans none um yeah I think it was a good one today I think it was a good one I'm trying to think if there's anything else anything I'm missing guys did I say anything I was gonna oh You can do it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Fine. Let's see. Hold on. A little ASMR. Hold on. Shh. Okay. She got that. <laughs> she got hyped quick. All right. Let's see. Um. Okay. Again, like a blueberry, maybe. I don't know. It smells like. It smells like Red Bull. Smells like an energy drink. Let's see. Okay. That's not bad. Tastes like an energy drink. I can't tell you exactly what flavor it is. Vitamin B12 is in here. Vitamin B6. Sponsored by. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Solar Effects. These aren't bad. Anyone ever shipped drinks before? Can I can I give a give can I do a giveaway on the drinks? What if I chug all of it in a live stream? You won't. Oh my God. I don't do. No, no. You guys are bad influences. Like how much I legit don't drink. The only time I drink energy drinks is if like, I'm doing Red Bull and vodkas like on a crazy night. Average caffeine in an energy drink is this thing gonna kill me oh my god <laughs> yeah uh the shit oh t-town since touche t-town i asked if i if i can send it out to people and t-town since says they shipped it to you <laughs> touche touche the average amount of caffeine in most cans of energy drink is 80 milligrams so this is 116. So I'm not going to chug it. I'm not going to chug it. But now I have 9, 10, 11. 11. <laughs> All right. All right. I need you. I need. Who do we got in here? Who do we got in here? Cold Frontin, Tim Barney. Who else we got in here? How do I do this? How do I send you guys my drinks? 12. Ship it with a Tint Whiz cup. Oh, that'd be a good one too. I have a couple ones. Okay. That's a, that's a good one. Cause then I can just send a couple. Do I have a couple cups? No kitty. It's my pot pie. <laughs> I, I think I'm done with that one. Call me when you have a chance. I'll pay you by Zell. I, you know what? I am not like, I am not hip with this. Like people want Zell and other stuff. Oh, new lead. Angel, is that you? There you go. I think it might be it. Alligator window tint super chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh cent. shit! Figure out some sort of giveaway next month. I have a few of Gary V's new books to give away. Okay, let's do this month. Of, uh, next month we'll do some more giveaways. I'll figure out this. Uh, Martin says he's got some Gary V books he's gonna be giving away, be able to give away. So we'll figure out some giveaways. I think more proper giveaways. Like I'm gonna do a post. Um, let's just do this because the giveaways are a lot easier either on post or on the video itself. Go to Facebook. Oh, we'll figure it out. I promise you we'll figure it out. We're going to figure out the details of this. I promise you. Um, L Ray, is that you? No, I got another. Well, hell, I got a, I got a lead for, uh, for the Tory tenor. So that's good. <laughs> Let's talk about it, baby. Let's do it. Love some me, some Gary V. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Um, got some more live streams. I don't think there's anything else. No, I don't know. Oh, you know what? T-Tints. I wanted to check out that, that, uh,
Okay, let's see if I can do this. Okay, I am going to try to watch this. I'm going to mute the audio and see if the algorithm will not <laughs> catch this because I don't have any audio playing. Let's see what we can do here. The S flip. He was just talking about this. I like the hose. I like the shirt. Oh, him and I got the same shirt. <laughs> film to film. Okay. I've, oh, I haven't seen this one. Let's see. Okay. Okay. On a Toyota, 18 Toyota. Okay. This would be good, right? People don't like Frankenstein is not easy. Okay. Nice transfer. Okay. Oh, I see you. I see you, baby. Okay. Got the deck covered. Open it up nice. And now you're in position. I like it. Easy. Easy. Okay. What do y'all think about that? Slide into position. And the back of the film stays dry. The one thing I don't like about a, a, a traditional reverse roll is that like the film gets wet, like on the inside. So when you're trying to move it, dang, look at that. Is this speeded up or is that normal speed? I think that's speeded up a little bit. Yeah, you're fucking fast, bro. It's harder when you're only four foot three. <laughs> Cold fronting, I would screw that up so bad. Nah, it's, it's all about trying new things, figuring it out. Okay, I'm pretty sure my heart is beating a lot faster now. <laughs> nice. Okay, I see you with the bulldozer. I see you. I see you. Uh oh. Are we showing all the tricks here? Got a filed edge. El Ray, um, if you're still watching over on Facebook, you need to hit the link, my friend, or else I can't get your information. Favorite file, too. What kind of file is that? Is that the little tri triangle file? Here, the thing with me is I never find like a, a fine enough file. That's a handy method with headrests that don't come out like the new camera. Yep. Tin was in the background. Oh, hell. Shout out to our sponsors. They're fucking all over the place. They're like all over the fucking place. I love them. Amazon. Hmm, check that out. Check that out. How do you prep that? Do you just like, do you leave it, let it overhang just a little bit and then come back to it? That's for a bottom load. Nice job. Nice job. What else we got? So I'll send you the link. Filing is something you have to incorporate. Some people love it. It's not for me, but some people do love it. Some people do it on every fucking car. Great job, T-Tints. T-Town Tints. Y'all want to? Y'all show them some love, y'all. 33 subs already. Moving up. Moving up really nice. Keep it up, my friend. Good job. Great job. Anyone else? Any good videos out? Let's see. Mm, the film trainer. So this is uh, this is Marco. Any new videos? Four days ago, we got the uh, the Volkswagen Atlas. Um, let's see if he got it right the same way I would. I I would just I I peeled back the uh, just peel it back, peel back the top. Let's see. Go back to the corner just like that. And the whole thing pops out. And then you can just slide it out. Let's see if he does it the way I do it. Yep. Yep. 
Yep. And those are so, so tight. It's ridiculous. I like that little tool he has because I just get my fingers in there and just fucking pull it out. And then I cut up my knucks. Just sub to T Town. That's right. Yep. Anything else? Tesla Model 3 front windshield. Look, he's, he's got, he's got a, a good build out going on real quick right here. Right here. Not too bad. Anyone else? Anyone else? I feel like most cars remove panel. panel. They're, they're very similar, right? So most cars, you're either going to pull back and the weather strip is connected to the door panel. Then you got to pull the whole door panel back. Or you can peel the top and then just pull the weather strip out. Um, sometimes you got to release the screw. Um, there's, I mean, they're all, I think there's like five or six different ways. And then, then pretty much they're all the damn same after that. Knuck it up, knuck it up, <laughs> knuck it up. <gasps> That'd be a good shirt. Knuck it up. Get the knucks. Okay. I think we're done y'all. I think we're done. All right. Thank you all very much. I really, really appreciate y'all spending your time, your afternoon. I hope you guys have a great Halloween weekend. Yeah. Be safe. Love yourselves, love your family, take care of y'all. Uh, big shout out to Alligator Window Tint, top super chatter of the day. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, big shout out to all our sponsors again, TintWiz. Check them out, TintWiz.com. Dry Shrink Prep, check it out, DryShrinkPrep.com. Solar Effects Window Films, check them out, Solar Effects Window Films.com. And also the Tint Mob, check it out, the Tint Mob.com. So um, I will be tons of merch ideas on today's live stream, right? Right, and that's how you build it out. You build it out, and and I have a I have a Shopify account and a Shopify store. I could just add Printful to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that and start building some merch out. Why not? Why not? Let's see if, let's see if people want it. Link in comments for the file. Oh, where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, of that video. Knuck it up. I like that, bro. Knuck it up. Ah, oh, all right, y'all. I'm outie. I'm outie 2000. I'm going to a Halloween party tonight. And then tomorrow we got Halloween for the kitties. It's going to be fun. I love you guys. Um, if you guys aren't, aren't hip with the bell notifications, then you better get on it. Cause I don't have any type of schedule. So let's see. I get on when I can get on. So I love y'all. Thank you again. I appreciate y'all. We'll talk soon.